Ladies and gentlemen, team of the year is well underway. And today we have got flashback Bruno Fernandez. And oh my God, Ooh. this card is absolutely beautiful. I've used him a little bit in the weekend league and he feels absolutely insane on the ball, let alone his through balls and all that sort of stuff. But we are doing Scott Bit of Showdown today. So that means we are joined by Mr. AJ3. How are you, Dross? Hope you're well, mate. I'm good, little Kerbs. I'm good. Talk to me. I can talk to you, mate. I, I was going to mention the first little joke of the day that's happened inside the first minute which is uh, a, a new record for you. But uh, what? talk to you, mate. Bruno Fernandes? What are we what saying about these plays? Well, okay, first of all, what are we saying about this kit? Um, um, uh, yeah, uh, that, that is one of my pet peeves, actually. Um, uh, why have they put him in a sporting Lisbon kit? Sorry. He never got a team of the year at Sporting. <gasps> no, he didn't. He should have, probably, in one of the years, because he had, like, 52 goals and 48 assists or something stupid like that for Sporting Lisbon. But... But surely it was based on his Man United. But he actually got one for Man U, yeah. Yeah, like that's the. So why is it not red? And do you know what's even more annoying as well? I have one of the red player picks ready to go oh, as well, mate. Oh, that'd be so good for him. But he's got a sporting but, but it, kit on, Kibbs. He has a sporting kit and he's got blue tint as well, so it ruins the red and the. <gasps> oh, the blue tint rounds his dynamic image to make him fit yeah. in with the card. Exactly. That's not well, ideal. So if he was in the red kit, mate. They probably wouldn't have used the blue tin, and then he'd look absolutely just se magnifique on the red tit like foot champs card. So I'm very, very sad, mate. First world problems, eh, mate? Indeed. It just, it just frustrates the hell out of me. I do have one question for you, though, mate. Obviously, with, with cool. Fernandez being in the Prem for such a long time now, other than Kevin De Bruyne in the last few years, would you say Bruno has been the best midfielder sort of in world football other than De Bruyne. Obviously, De Bruyne is clear. He's probably one of the best midfielders ever, or that's Ooh. debate ever. But is Bruno a comfortable second? No. Ooh. He's not a comfortable second. You could argue that he's oh, second. Fair, fair. All right, okay, yeah. He's not a comfortable second. Who's think... a couple of players that probably comes to him? Obviously, the comment section probably now put are saying like, oh yeah, people like Jamal Musiala Rodri. and players like that. Fair, I guess, yeah. Maybe I should have like narrowed it down a and bit he's in more the Prem as well. that's before you even go and say like modric if you're talking like years the way that man just ran the champions league for like three years in a row very, very hitting travella passes like he's doing yeah, i really should have pass. narrowed it down to one of the best attacking midfielders rather yeah. than just midfielders in general because he's, he's not he's not up there for if it's all of them overall but do you know i mm. bruno fernandez is a player who really frustrates me to watch because he's yes. both, he's so, so good, but so petulant. And it makes him really dislikable because if he just yeah. got on with his job, he is, like you said, one of the best midfielders in the whole world. But he mm -hmm. just has to add in to just snide horrible little things where he like puts in dirty tackles, goes in studs up on people. And then when someone else clips him, he rolls around on the floor like they've broke his leg and he's like shouting at refs. And I don't know if he conducted himself better on the pitch i feel like he'd get a lot more praise for his ability whereas it quite often gets overshadowed by him just being because a people cry don't baby like him and that people much don't like well. him yeah exactly yeah, and yeah. He's, he's, he's very sorry go on. he's he's not i was gonna say he's polarizing he's not polarizing because i think most people think the way he conducts himself isn't very good yeah even i mean even, even united, united, united fans, fans. No, we, we don't like it because he does yeah. moan a hell of a lot we yeah, don't yeah. like it it's like but... anthony gordon forever and was class but all he did he just used to dive all the time and it just wound just me up so much everywhere. just stop <laughs> it like I, d I don't know <laughs> that's what Ashley Young going back a, a number of years that's what Ashley Young used to do for us quite a lot as well now when he, he could have just he done pains either. away for us instead exactly oh, you gave it away to Martial as well that's another funny one where Martial just somehow just scores against Everton every time but it's a mental yeah. one mate. he's the United but, captain as well isn't he and then what was that thing yes. about refusing to get subbed on or whatever that was and uh, uh, well that, that was the whole thing against liverpool at anfield it that was more media driven than anything else I, I don't think he has to, to come off but like, it doesn't it, it doesn't make sense if he did then yeah there's probably right, just a media but... thing but he probably got the media thing because he's so petulant about everything else he's an easy target yeah, and it, it's easy clicks yeah exactly yeah, yeah. yeah it's easy clicks for something like that but bruno's definitely one of those types of players not only does he fit probably La Liga the best because that's the very sort of league that loves the petulance rolling around on the floor yeah. and moaning and that sort of stuff. But <laughs> he's another one of those players that 
if he plays for your football club, you absolutely love him. But a rival fan, you despise him. The same as someone like Rodri. I hate him because he's so good. He doesn't have the petulance or anything like that. Yeah, so you just hate him because he's good. Because Whereas, he's good. But Bruno, Bruno has, he's good. Yeah. But he's also annoying because of the moaning yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. But hmm, I, I guess it's a bit him. like Richarlison. Oh, God, yeah. I don't no. think Richarlison's as bad as Bruno. Not anymore. But, oh, yeah, no, he's not as bad as Bruno, no. But... but Richarlison he's, he's, hates he's, to lose so much that he'll do literally anything to try and win. And yeah. it, he doesn't With, quite have the nasty side of like arguing and flying into tackles and stuff, but he 100% yeah, has yeah. the rolling rounds on the floor, trying to get pens, trying to get fouls, yeah, yeah. all that sort of stuff. So he's where, where, kind yeah, of the same. I think probably the difference between the two, probably Bruno's like the more the sneaky, dirty side of things and Richarlison's is more of the housery sort of way of doing things in it yeah reckless is More what i call the... richarlison whereas yeah i'd call it calculated yeah absolutely with bruno i do one one time i remember richarlison when he played for everton against us and he did like four or five keep ups and then three times with his head that i hated that <laughs> absolutely despise that because i think you were winning at the time you, you deservedly so yeah, as well yeah. in that game and he was just taking the piss just by just doing keepy ups and i was like Hmm, not a fan of that. Hopefully one of our players is going smack. <laughs> but he's one of those. But either way, ladies and gents, I do absolutely love Bruno Fernandes. He's breath of fresh air in our team, mate. We're very, very good player. But is he going to be a good player in today's squad mm. builder showdown? That is what we need to find out. So, Andy, without further ado, mate, what formation would you like to put your Bruno Fernandes in today? It's a very good card, Kev. It's a very expensive card. Cost me a lot of fodder to do and is very close to your heart. He is, mate. He is indeed. So I need to put in a very good performance. Save mine and make you cry. Indeed. So I'm going to pick my favourite formation. 4 3 2 one. Oh my god, I've got it the wrong way around. Lovely. Oh, I wrote the Lovely. 4 3 one, 2 I thought you were going to play him at Cam. Oh, so tilt. That's weird, actually. He can play centre mid and Cam, just to go off on a bit of a tangent again. But he's got defensive yeah. play styles. He's got anticipated oh, yeah, intercept. True. But he can't play CDM. So I did. I Press mean, from the front, I, I, have, I, I have used him in the weekend league, and I guess he kind of is the perfect box to box because he has everything that you want going forward with like long ball pass, ping pass, incisive pass. If he does come back or when he is back, he does have the intercept and anticipate yeah, as well. Yeah. The only He's thing, like, as well, other than the uh, the the dynamic image, why does he not have a second playstyle if it's a team of the year? Based yeah, pass? I don't know. It's a tough one isn't it? because my initial thought with that was, all right, fair enough. Keep the team of the year exclusive and don't have yeah, SPCs yeah. have them. But then yeah, George Best's got two. He does. Even if it was like a dead ball plus as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not going to be something that Chip breaks shot the plus. car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Something else as well yeah. would have been quite nice, but. Either way, when do you uh, think I'm looking forward to the will get second place styles? I think probably either a marquee um, player from like foot birthday or something like that, or mm. team of the seasons. I think might you can be team the... of the season. I reckon team of the season is going to be three. Well, they did that in the beta, didn't they? They had five in the beta. So did they? They had yeah. For, I was talking to this about in the chat yesterday. Actually, they said the, that they went up to five in the beta. Good so. Team. Wait, imagine Mbappe Whether... on the beta where you can pack any player dead easy. you got an informed yeah. Mbappe with five playstyles. And imagine it was like... What? Bloody Traveller Plus, Finesse Plus. Quick Step. Probably Quick rapid, Step Plus. Rapid. Technical. Then, yeah. <laughs> oh, the thing is though, when, when it comes around to team of the season, let alone footies, which is where we might see the sort of four or five or something if it goes mental, but it's interesting. It's going to be a very, very interesting one, but... Oh, I'm looking forward. I, want, I really want to know what you think of this card because he's actually replaced my Icon Hullet at the minute, the Winter Wildcard one. I'm not a huge fan of it, but wow. this Fernandez has replaced him in my Weekend League team wow. at the moment. So I'm interested to see if you think, oh, okay, good enough for that. So, hmm. Well, that's if I can keep him uh, after this episode and uh, I can keep my formation. But mm. the formation I would like is the 4-2-3-1 with all the cams, please. I also wrote the numbers the wrong way around, Kebs, because I wrote the same formation as I went for. So you may have it. Ah, lovely stuff. Well, both of us have our formations. Andy, I have two strikers. Well, no, a striker and two cams, and you have two Stri centre two forwards. Centre forwards. Mm. Oh, and striker as well. Well, let's get into that. Important situation then, mate. It is time for the forwards, and uh, I'm going to ask you what you'd like today, mate. Ooh, I 
would like a little bit of Portugueseness to start us off, Kebs. Eh? Probably. Lovely country. Your childhood. I've got a lot of good golf, apparently. I need to go. I've heard that. Cristo Ronald. Suri. Suri. Very nice. Travella Plus as well, which I can confirm does actually affect the shots. Oh, after that, uh, I was going to say, I did see your uh, debate with Nep actually on mm -hmm. uh, on Twitter about it. So you, you've come to the conclusion that it does. I haven't come to the conclusion. It. I was on the Foot Weekly podcast and they spoke to a developer about it. Oh, mm. oh, wow. OK, set in stone then. Yeah, mm. very good. So it, I think the best way to understand it is that it does make shots better, but Travellers are so broken, they don't even really need to be better. If that makes sense, they're so good without does. the playstyle. Without even needing the playstyle, exactly. let alone the playstyle yeah. plus of it as well. It's as if. Christ. Remember how good finesses were at the start of the game with finesse plus. Yeah. If you made everyone be able to do that without finesse plus, and then added finesse plus on, like we know finesse plus isn't broken, it makes finesses better. Like look what it used to do. Yeah. But if the, everybody could do that, and then you have finesse plus, everyone would be like, well, what's the point of finesse plus? Sun's no better at scoring them than someone without it. And it's like, it's because then, finesses yeah. are broken, not because the playstyle play doesn't play do style. anything. The playstyle does yeah. do something, but there's just no room for it to make it any better in a lot of cases. Because it's already so busted. itself is just already yeah. too good. Exactly. So hopefully the nerf Traveller, so people who don't have Traveller, and I think that would make the game a lot more balanced. Yeah, I think that, that's, it's always just fine tuning with yeah. stuff like that though, isn't it? But in previous years, they've been really bad at it. But this year, I guess they are improving ever so slightly. Slightly. Can't get worse. Yeah. Up yeah. front, I'll have radioactive Talisca to get Crystal Ronald onto some chemistry. Very nice. I'm going to pop it on the card type just to find him. That is my special chemistry item, gone. But not Indeed. my position change because he's a special chemistry item. This so we don't chemistry help them. breaker. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then I'll have some Brazilian from the Premier League. Few options. Obviously, Casemiro gets a club link, but this card's just a bit stinky, I'll be honest. It's not, it's not good. It's not good. So I'll have Gabriel Jesus instead. Very nice, mate. You, if I'm honest, as soon as you said you wanted a little bit of Portuguese, I was like, oh, I'm excited. But I wasn't expecting Sui. I wrote down João Felix, mm. Rafael Leão. Okay. And then I did write down Casemiro, so you've dodged. Oh, that the was bullets. close. <sighs> very, very, close. very sad. Very, very sad. I didn't think you were going to go um, Ronaldo, actually. It's not often you get to put him in a team because he's quite difficult to get chemistry for. Yeah. So right. the fact that I had the Portuguese link already and then I just needed that Talisca to get him full chem and Talisca gets full chem himself. Cracking. Indeed. Very, very good. Well, it's, it's sort of bittersweet, really, because I would like to sort of like complete my revenge and end the Ronaldo chapter of our Squad Buddha Showdown uh, like time together, mate. Because I would also like Cristiano Ronaldo, please. Um, I'm not that ballsy to go for the Winter Wildcard one because he's over 2 million coins, which is more than some of the team of the years. But at left cam, I would like the perfect link for him in Atavio. And at right cam, I would like an icon that I've used on loan once and I thought he was quite good. But we're going full Portuguese, mate. I'd like Figo, please. It's a lot of Portugal. A lot of Portugal, but I'm hoping that That's very annoying. I can just keep stuff. You packed Pele Kebs. I did. So and I that's why that I, I'm I, Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> and that is exactly why I put the seed in the soil yesterday, mate. Did you, I was like, did you actually pack yeah. him though? I have, yeah. I did. Okay, I, you I weren't just lying. A... I thought you might like, no. say. Oh my god, I imagine I didn't. If I when I film with Atari, we want to do canting. Plant the seed. Maybe I should yes. tell him I've packed Hullet. Yeah, great idea. And he'll be like, and he's going to write, like, write it down no, because, I yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> at the same time, that is absolutely hilarious because you've mugged him off like that. But he sat there thinking, I don't want to play against actual Hullet. No, yeah, thanks. Just spanner in the works, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, I've so got annoying. first owner Pele, 23 games, 25 goals and 21 assists, mate. And he's very, oh, unsurprisingly, he's very, very good. Wow. But Yeah, um, I also no. got Jao Pedro. Yep. I'm funny that you copied me, Kebs. Oh, no, 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 you haven't. You can say, See you later, Cristiano. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
No, I wanted to. Ah. Oh. Okay. <sighs> See you later, mate. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, I, I thought today would be the day that I'd just about get away Today's with it as well. Today's the day you lose Bruno. Oh, no. Eh. All right. Okay. It was probably written in the stars that that was going to happen. So, eh. Who would you... I'm assuming you want to give me a goalkeeper, but... Uh, oh, God. Who would you like to give me? Oh. Just having a little look. All right, Kebs. At least you can go in the video. I was just looking for a player for you. And I thought it'd be okay. funny to say you can have Ronaldo. Oh. Okay. So I scrolled down and there is 265 rated Ronaldos. So I clicked on it. It's R9 as the picture. Wait, what? Type in Ronaldo. Both 65 as well. Oh, yeah. It's mid R9. What? And then the other one's baby R9. It's as if they couldn't remove them from the database, so they've just hidden them down there. Oh my god, yeah. Because there's Ronaldinho's races. down there as well. 65 yeah, rated Ronaldinho's. And then there's some what? fella called Ronaldo de Jesus who just doesn't exist at all. He's just there. Doesn't oh my even god, have a picture. it actually is. It's mid. It's, it's baby Dino. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's mad, isn't it? Oh my god, what? I wonder why they can't just remove them then. How strange? That's bizarre, isn't it? Yeah, and then mid. I would, actually, I, is Hullet on there as well with players like that? Is every icon? Yeah. Rude Hullet, 65 rated, baby icon Hullet's there. Oh. Interesting. Okay. So I've just clicked onto the baby version of Hullet, okay. and it brings up the Winter Wildcard one. So like, I've clicked, like, search for it, and it what brings the up the, the Winter Wildcard Hullet. So this whole Hullet body type thing, it was disproven by people by showing both Hullets in the loading screen and stuff. But if you search for the 65 Hullet, it has this baby has picture, and then brings up baby that picture one. And yeah. Wait, so then if you do it with best, does that bring up the team of the year one? Uh, let's have a look. George, best, 65 rated. The, okay, so the 88 one from previous years, that doesn't bring anything up, but no, the mid best, do. no. So that, that would be like his prime or his moments one, maybe. What the hell? Mmm, that is very, very interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm intrigued what, why they're there. This is so strange. Um, anyway, I can't find the Ronaldo to give you. So I'm just going to give you a terrible goalie, mate. Thanks, mate. I, I, I was expecting it, but I mean, if you would have given me R9, I wouldn't have been opposed to it. 65 rated R9. Thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. You can have... I'll give you the man who you love filming videos with. Jack 54 HD. Jack 54. Yep. Prunes, where is he? Prunes. Yeah, on. Yeah. Where is he? He's in the club. So there he is. Listen, mate, he was good in some previous episodes that I've done with you. So, oh, God. He's got 21 speed. Yeah. But he is tall. So he is tall. Maybe. Just maybe. Well, we've also we've all learned something new today that... Uh, that, that base Hullet is definitely uh, from the baby Hullet from previous years. That's probably why he is terrible in comparison to the other two. But, well, time for Andy's three midfielders and my two CDMs. Into the midfielders we go then, Andy. And we're going to kick it off with my CDMs. And I'm going to go for a perfect link. Um, the first one, a man that probably you hold quite dear to your heart, mate. It's none other than John Stone's Winter Wildcard. And on the other side of it, uh, a man that's probably just been forgotten about, really. Was very, very good at Leeds and not really sure where he's going to end up, actually. It wouldn't surprise me if uh, maybe ends up at Everton, mate. I don't know. Could be a very good player. Replacement for Decore, maybe, if he ends up going to Saudi. I'd like Calvin Phillips, please. Uh, no, nah, you can't have Calvin Phillips as a replacement for Decore. Decore is like our camp or in behind. Does he play that far forward? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't watch him that much. Yeah. But he plays off the there. front, so I don't know who we need. Uh, someone with relentless plus 
basically to play for Sean Dyche. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just but like as just, a just be able to run, that's it. Yeah, I need. don't even know like I didn't realise he played that, I thought he was just box to box to be fair. He's not like a traditional number ten. It's really weird. Yeah. I don't even know like who you'd compare him to. Oh, I'm I'm then. genuinely it's... flicking through Premier League players on um, on footbin just to try and like get an idea. I honestly don't know. Is he like kind of in between a ten and an eight then? Kind of thing. He's like in between a false nine and a box to box midfielder. It's really weird. I guess maybe Drew Bellingham kind of does it for Real Madrid now, doesn't he? Where he's a centre mid who plays up front, basically. Yeah, yeah, where his best suit is suited as a 10. Yeah, no, I could see that. But who, who Everton would replace Ducore with if he left for Saudi Arabia? I have no idea. And Everton without Ducore are terrible compared to Everton with Ducore. So we are finished if he carries on being injured or goes. Same as what the, when he used to play for Watford as well. They were awful without him because mm -hmm. he just used to score every week. Yeah. But the question is, can I keep my lovely duo of John Stones and John Stones and Phillips as a cracking duo of Kerbs? It is, but you haven't said the words, Kerbs are annoying or, oh, so close. No, you are so annoying. I'm, I, I was going to put okay. go for that myself, and now I'm second guessing whether I should. Because I don't want to get dirty to like you've just been. Oh. <laughs> There's no way you've actually written that down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Have you actually there's not have you actually written that down? Yep. Couple of interesting picks there, Kerbs. <sighs> oh god, this is I've, uh... Oh no. Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh that's so bad. Oh I'm gonna lose Fernandez on I? Hopefully, oh, mate. Hopefully. No, no. Oh, no, you've already taken Ronaldo this year off me. You can't take my Magnifico. Oh. Who do you want to give me? Just having a wee little look. Hmm, it's a lot of 52 rated Kebs. A lot of 53 rated. I was looking at the uh, the 47s and 48s, mate. So if you're being as kind to give me 53s and 52s, mate, I am absolutely all right with that. All right, we'll kick it off with this guy. 50 rated, CDM, can play centre mid, plays okay. for Real Salt Lake, and his name is Morgan Bear Whistle. <laughs> that took me a good like couple of seconds to realise who you were talking about then. I thought you were going to call him Capgun Tom, but it, it, it actually does look like him. <laughs> Ander, Ander, put me in my, put me in Kerbs' team, Ander. Ander. Don't worry, Kerbs. We'll save Bruno. Yeah, I hope he bloody plays well, mate. Please, Ginge, save me. Oh, Lord. Okay. And who, which is the second one? There's a lot of people in my chat saying, give you a teeth. A teeth? Oh, my God. Can he play? Oh, he can't play centre mid. Oh, no, you've got two CDMs. Oh. I've got two CDMs, oh, yeah. I was giving you centre mids as if it was mine. Okay. Well... Sure, you can have a Teef, who's got 28 what? pace and 29 stamina. Oh my god. Who's oh. the... What, what, what rating is he? 66. Oh, okay. Let me... Let me, oh, let me I didn't realise that. In. I would have given you... This fella? But that's okay. You can have Ginge. Ginge and the... Oh my god. This guy stick. He has low, medium... What... How is this guy a professional footballer, mate? Like, what, what is... Oh. oh, God, that's so bad. Oh, Lord, have mercy on my soul. Okay, mate. He's got 72 passing, though, so... He does uh, have at least, passing. At least he'll be able to not run, not what, not run, not, not, not uh, for very long and just give the ball to Bruno. Nice. What would... Christ, this has gone so Girl, terrible. What teeth. would you like? You know that you know that box that you've got in your room? Can I borrow it, please? Because I want to get in it now. I've got a much smaller <laughs> one if you want. Save on Thanks, postage. Mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Fantastic. Right. What are... Uh, I don't really know what to go for, to be honest, Kebs, because I need some Premier League chemistry, which seems like quite a common theme on Scope the Showdown. I think because most of the exciting marquee players are Premier League because EA likes selling packs. 
true. Yeah. I haven't tried out this card yet this year, so I'm going to give this a whirl. Graven Bitch. I've got so many of these guys on loan this year. Loans in foot champs as well. Oh my god. The amount of team oh. of the years this week is disgusting. It is painful. It's, it's bad anyway with the amount of icons that are on loan and stuff like that. And now there's team of the years as well. It's like, oh, my head, my brain's broken. Yeah, it's just not the one. And I'd quite like to go for a little Liverpool combo with Sobber's Light, but he's got special chemistry. So... Let's go for a little Liverpool combo with Thiago. Bad play, mate. Let's just get the chemistry up, you know? Well, interesting couple of picks, mate. Mm. Not interesting enough, though, nice. because I wrote down Deli Alley and Declan Rice. I was going to go Stones and Gallagher, but when you picked Stones, I bottled it. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I actually, uh, to be fair, I wrote um, Ali and Rice in blue, which was my actual picks. And then in brackets, I put Bruno G and Joel Linton. Because that would have given... Well, that's the, the, the extra links that you would have needed for Gabriel Jesus on full chem. Mm. And I was there on full chem. It's perfect link, so... No, you can... Uh, reluctantly, you can have... Uh, a full team your... so far, mate. Hmm. You've um, had more players guessed than you've put in. Let's hope that changes <laughs> with the fullbacks then, shall we? Because, I mean, I am down astronomically. Right then, into the fullbacks we go. And um, I am I'm, I'm on some serious copium right now. Um, so, Andy, if you could please, pretty, pretty please say both of the players that are on this whiteboard okay. right now, that would be greatly appreciated, please. All right. I think what I've done to you, Kebs, is dangled the bait. And I reckon uh, you've written Grimaldo and Frimpong. Dutch and Spanish, same club. Thiago and Gravenberch there. They just need one more Bundesliga player to get full chemistry. And I only need one more Prem player to get full chem as well. So if you've written them down, I'll have Kai Havertz. And now I've got full chemistry on everyone. You do indeed. And I do still have a special position change, but I do this quite a lot. I don't know if this is actually good. I always do that. Oh my god, I've got a Saliba in my club. Isn't he like 300k? He is, yeah. I need to sell him. Wait, where's Timber? Maybe I put him in an SBC. So I was thinking, let's go Timber at right back. But how has got full chem anyway? So I'll have Joe Gomez. All right, very nice. Um, The, the bait was there, and uh, we took half a bite. Okay. Because just on the off chance, it was so obvious, it might have been too obvious to write down. I did write down Frimpong. Expected. Okay, so I can have Joe Gomez. That's good. You can. However, I did not write down Grimaldo. And who is one of the best left-backs on the game, Andy? Robertson. Robertson? I, I think I'll just ask you. <laughs> <laughs> Very good reference. Check out Andy's video for that one. Oh, um, I hate Havertz. I'll ask, That's I'll why ask I you that him. question. You I'll ask you that question again, mate. Who's one of the best left-backs in the game? Basher. True. I didn't write down a female though, mate. Ashley Cole. No, it's Teo Hernandez. I thought you'd do oh, something completely different. Nice! My thought process was, you've already got two Wrong. Brazilians, oh. you've got two Liverpool-based players, you've got two Portuguese players, so one Premier League that's probably not any of the clubs that you've already, any of the clubs or nations that you've already used. That was my sort of thought process you may go for. So I was thinking maybe Tarek Lamptey or something like that. Mm, okay. But... And then completely bottled it and thought, no, Andy might just go maybe Teo Hernandez to Kalulu, or you would, in actual fact, go for the Frimpong Grimaldo. So, no, mate, you've... Unfortunately for me, you've lived absolutely rent-free in my skull. I've got um, a full team so far, and everyone's on full chem. Yes. It's so, gone rather um, badly for you, Kebs, so I'll be honest with you, mate. It has, mate. It's, uh, and you need to get be... both of these players in order to have put in more players to your own team than I've taken out. Exactly. So let's hope and pray to God that uh, you haven't written them down. So in at left back, and this is going to be a very, very nervy uh, fullback uh, pairing for me, I think. I would like to go for the new informed DeMarco. And right back, I'm going to go for my special position change. And we're going to go for the Colombian man that's been around for God knows how long. Yeah, really Juan 
quadrado. <laughs> quadrado, eh? Indeed. I always so, forget that quadrado plays for Inter now. Yeah, rather than uh, you playing obviously for Fiorentina Mid before, yeah. You did have four but, came on everyone, so I didn't really know what you were going to do. So I wrote down Cancelo, because yeah. Portugal. Of course, And I wrote yep. Havertz, just because I hate him. He's so annoying to play against, which is, is also so why good, I picked yeah. him myself. Let alone, mate, when people have started finishing this Alfonso Davies uh, flashback, because that card is just... Like, There's it's so mental. many good left-backs on this game. Yeah. Like, people keep telling me to do the Davies SBC, but I've got Havit and Basha on my road to glory. What else do you want? They are both... Up th those two are both very, very good. Yeah. But from what I've seen... Like, oh, wow, I've played against him a couple of times already. And I've seen on social media, he is better than both of those two. Let's see so, scary times for us, but I haven't heard the... F well, actually, no, I have heard the famous words that I can keep. Amid. It makes a nice change, actually. I was just, I'm was, i just expecting to get trolled and be like, oh, Kerbs. <laughs> I, I did write that in brackets. This is what I actually wrote down, but no. yes, I finally got my fallback partnership. Nice. Oh, Lord have mercy. Right, should we get into the final picks, mate, where I, it, it's going to be very interesting if I get anything mm -hmm. in this episode today. But if I do, Andy may just have a goalkeeper. At centre back. Let's get into it. Andy. Get back. Squeaky bum time, mate. Yeah. What? Actually, oh, it's my turn to go. Yeah, oh, so it is. Go on then. It is my turn to go first. Oh, no. I am. I'm nervous. I'm going to lose my Bruno. And I'm not happy about it. Unless these defenders can save me. So, my left centre back. I would like another team of the week card. In Stefan Devry. In goal, I would love Consigli. And at right centre back, I would like the best centre back on the game, please. Because I need a good centre back. Van Dijk? I am going you Virgil sweaty, van Dijk. Sweaty man. Fair enough. Because I don't have any uh, defensive midfielders. I don't have a striker. So I at least need someone that can try and annoy you to not let you score that's fair but enough. that's if i can keep him i wrote some proper random ass players i'll be honest with you and i was tempted to write okay. consigli but i put terracciano instead the other informed goalie good goal. i was okay. tempted to go with devry but i put two other different informs ramani has got anticipate plus yes very, his card is unbelievable as well yeah. very very good and buongiorno just because i thought you'd want to say buongiorno to him <laughs> buongiorno him yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's, a, it's a really really satisfying name to say isn't it yeah <laughs> i'm gonna say hello to buongiorno <laughs> <laughs> nice that's very very good mate oh yeah. i could breathe a sigh of relief you've got some players care as well don't mate now i do yes what would you like mate what i would like and what i'm gonna do are not the same thing what I would like is okay. to utilize a perfect link, but I don't have an icon, so I still need another player from their league. Which mean, would mean that that player from their league needs to be from their club and needs to get a nation link to someone else in the team. And that's actually possible to do with Dynasties Hernandez, Kim Pembe, and that new Spanish informed fellow who plays in goal for PSG because the Thiago link. But... I have full chemistry, and it's very bait to write down perfect links. So if I was you, I might have written down Hummels. I might have written down Theo Hernandez. Lucas Hernandez it is, sorry. Or Theo Hernandez, or Kalulu, or Mignon, or Giroud, or Tamori. All of these sneaky ways to do it. And you've basically got no players' curves, and I'm here to discard your Bruno. <laughs> So I'll have Mavropanos, Pau Torres, and Edison. Fair. I'll have my full team, hopefully. And we will get to work with scoring lots of goals past you whilst you play up front with Jack 54 HD. I am very, very sad. I wrote down Ibanez. Okay, good, perfect link. Kula Bali. Not a perfect link, but from... Oh, South League. Okay, sneaky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Mendy. Nice. I thought you'd fully second-guess yourself, which you did, but... Yeah. 
you ended up just going back to the Premier League yeah. instead of going, oh, stupid curves wouldn't go for the Saudi uh, so League. So I could have had the Theo and Anders Kimpembe thing. That was a good idea. Yeah, but I, but, but I didn't write sort of that down because I, I was originally going to go with um, Hernandez, Mappy Leon, and um, Giroud. Yeah, just cover that the That is what I wanted yeah, to do. Yeah. Just cover them all. That's yeah, what I was then, scared of. Yeah, but I, th I thought so you should be second scared guess of yourself. I mean, I'm scared. Get Hullet back in your foot jumps, teammates, because that Bruno's going. <laughs> Let's go get into the game. Find out. Andy, I'm scared. Kebs, um, I'm feeling the pressure. The pressure. Well, to that's discard very true, actually. The, the pressure players, is on you to play well in this game and discard my Bruno Fernandez. Well, you are you are the man actually that has hit me for the worst discard so far this year. Let's so adds up another one. Ah, Jack54 and co. It's time to ball out. No. Did you just move save. your goalie? You're an animal, no. Kerbs. All right. If it's, if it's like that, it's like Jack, that, mate. mate say I, goodbye I to that Bruno Fernandez, Kerbal. <laughs> mate, I didn't say move him. Say goodbye. <laughs> I'm not even no, lying. I, I didn't even you. move him. I don't believe you. That's Jack54. Oh, a ball. Oh, hello. Hang on. Well, there's Otavio. Woohoo! What a ball for Bruno Fernandes! Andy, the pressure is mounting, mate! <laughs> what is Mavropanos doing? I don't know, but I'm happy he's done it! <laughs> Come on, Andy. This little... Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Edison, mate. Come on, sort yourselves out. I mean, sort you, you out, Edison, problem, mate. Yeah. That's right next to you. Sort you out. <laughs> right, batten down the hatches. It's time to have a 1-0 Sean Dyche-esque performance. No, no, Demarco. Oh, thank God. Jack... <laughs> right, right. There's some funny business going on here, Kebs. <laughs> yes, there is. Oh, I don't know why your players just left it. Didn't really make sense. Oh, no. You've got 72 passing, Atif. It's the only good thing you have about you, mate. Where's Christian Ronaldo? There he is. Oh, that's Talisca. No. Oh, what a save. Consigli. <laughs> no, not Travella. No, 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 no. All right. I give up. Oh, oh, oh. I am starting to get real tilted, Kerbs. <laughs> <laughs> Good, that means you play worse. <laughs> oh, no, no. Yes, well done, DeVry. Ow. Oh, piss off, DeVry. <laughs> Lovely play. That's <gasps> Jack 54. Jack 54! <laughs> oh, my God. Mate, that was actually a really, really nice turn as well, actually. It's a joke, mate. That's what it is. Oh, oh, good save, Consigli. Oh, my God. He's winding me up, Kebs. <laughs> See, my players are working hard now, but these bronze players are going to die at some point. That's a pen. That's a pen, referee! Bloody Wellings. Bloody Morgan Bert whistle. Please, no. Uh, I really no. Just, want, just really want to discard this players. Well done, Wellings Morgan. better than Ronaldo. Nice. Oh, my That's God. That's Jack. That is Jack. 54! Bruno Fernandes! He's done it! <laughs> it's two, baby! Yes. Oh my god! What is happening? What is happening? Jack 54, that is all you, you little beauty! <laughs> How have I not scored? <laughs> I really don't know, mate, How but have you I. Scored? <laughs> How have I scored twice? Let alone it's what? gone through his legs! Uh, <laughs> the Kevs, oh, I wait. manually pressed tackle to intercept that. Oh my god. Oh, it, no, thank god he's offside. <laughs> right, oh right. What god. is going on? Because I just manually pressed tackle to intercept that. And then my Kaiovis just ran out the way to let you header it. <laughs> What's going on? I don't, I don't know, mate. You're consigli. It's wonderful, mate. He's having the and that game was, that of his was, life. Uh, that must have been just an inch away from being three as well. I've got oh 2.1 XG God. and I haven't scored a single goal. You've got 1.8 and you've scored twice. Can simply OP. <laughs> okay, right. Now, nah, we can... Second off, it's all me. It's all me, Kebs. Uh, it is. I'm, 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 I need them I'm anticipating to get it. tired. You do have Van Dijk and you do have De Vrij. Mm. Stop fouling me, man. <laughs> I'm not even pressing anything, mate. <laughs> That's a great pass. Van Dijk! Van Dijk! That is massive! Ooh. I thought that was a certain goal. I feel goal. like I'm playing really good. <laughs> <laughs> you are. I'm just getting lucky. 
A Travella with Joe Gomez. A Travella's a Travella, okay mate. Oh, no, no, no. No. No! No! Okay, okay, no! okay. Come on, Andy. Come on, Andy. Come on, Andy. <laughs> Van Dyke is a joke. He's actually <laughs> How has he come stupid. out with the ball there? <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I despise him on this game so much. Ooh, lovely. Lovely. Foul by you, ref. That's a great ball. It is. That's a touch Oh, my as well. God. Where's this pace come from? Anatomio! Oh! I think he's got, like, 86 as well. I don't... He's, he's not, a, not a slouch. No. What? It's passed it six no times! I... Oh, Van Dijk, oh. you're a mess, mate. <laughs> I was going to say, I have no idea what's even happening anymore. I passed Gap it to him. It was meant to go across. What, what is going on? It was meant to I go across all the way. <laughs> and it didn't. So then I just pressed it again, and it didn't pass it. So I pressed it again, and it didn't pass it. So I pressed it again, and then Van Dyke just comes out with the ball, and then Jack Fifty Four scores. Jack oh 54 my god, scores! this game! <laughs> I feel like I'm playing really good, Kevs. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I had to do it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I had to do it. What's Edison doing, bro? <laughs> I'm sure City fans say that when he concedes, really, but. Oh, mate, that has all come from that absolute travesty of just what happened down Van the other Dijk end. I hate Van Dyke so much. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, Bruno. Come on, Bruno. Oh, that's a ball. Get there, get there, Debris. No. Oh, the pass was just too good. No. How has he not blocked it? Debris. Oh, my God. We were so close. Oh, no. Okay. baby. Oh, God, I don't like it. No, 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 not Travella in the 86th minute. Come on, no! I'm coming for that Bruno. I just need to save my own discards. Oh, no, no. Right. No. Oh, where do I go? Where do I go? Ben Ref. That's his own, <laughs> that's, that's his ben. reputation. Oh He's a dive. God, oh my God, that's He's actually a diver. A oh my God, that's actually a pen. He's, he dives, Kebs. He dies. I don't believe it. I can't. That's actually such a dumb one. That's such a pen. That's such a pen. Oh, oh my, my god. god. You've just, you just kicked him as well. You know, that's, what, that's what I said, mate. If he didn't have the reputation, maybe he'd get decisions. <laughs> just a bit of sweet irony in it. It's like, oh, for God's sake. Oh, you literally kicked him as well. Oh, I'm so sad. Well, um, unfortunately. That does mean that we have a discard apiece, mate. And if you would have given me that at the start of the game, yeah. I, I, I would have bitten your hand off for it. I would have been fuming. And I am fuming. Because I've, I've tried really hard then, Kevs. Yeah, oh, I mate, played you played some really, really nice good. FIFA. But yeah, you did. <laughs> and I just couldn't score. <laughs> and then Edison, <laughs> just let's, just like the bloody Red Sea. It's Jack 54 making the goals. Never Jack given Jack anyone 54, him ever man. again. I told you, mate, it's quality. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Oh, God, mate. Oh, this could be so horrendous. Right. I'm mixed up. I'm not I'm not making the same mistake that I did for when you discarded Ronaldo for me. I'm, I can't do it to myself. I can't. You ready? Yes. Goalie. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, who is it? Oh, informed DeMarco. It's still... Uh, it's not great because he's worth a considerable amount of coins, but... <sighs> Where was he? Have a second guess. See if you would have got him. Oh, just tell me. I can't. Right, CDM. I don't know if you were thinking of going there or not, but... Okay. For you. You were in the 4-3-2-1. Yes. I think we go... Left back. Joe Gomez. Annoyingly, on loan, so I need to buy him. <laughs> oh, fair. <laughs> Where, where, was you, where did you put Bruno? Right centre forward. Oh, fair enough. I was, I was toying between fullbacks and goalkeeper, if I'm honest. I thought that might be a really, really like sneaky one of where you might have put him. But fair enough, mate. Well, let's get an SBC on the go for DeMarco and Joe Gomez. Here we are, then, ladies and gents. An SBC for myself and Andy today. And uh, my informed DeMarco is done. 
and dusted so if you guys have enjoyed please make sure to leave a like right in and subscribe if you are new around here as well team of the year is absolutely in full flow and i absolutely love this time of year make sure to check out the version we've done over on andy's channel and until the next time we'll catch you all later